coffee, ketchup, potatoes. The bread and butter of any diner right behind the pancakes and eggs. So coffee, guys? At Garrett's Mill Diner in Stowe. It's a more caps. More caps? Yep, I'm going to open up the caps right now. 32-year-old Alan Sinoff, with moderate to severe autism, handles these core tasks of daily operations and is proud to do it. I sliced provolone cheese, pepper jack. Cook and owner Brian Krasny hired Alan into his first job six months ago. And when you have an individual like Alan who's able to stay very focused on a given task and uh, quite frankly is pretty happy performing those tasks, it's a win-win. When Alan was diagnosed at age three, I remember driving home from the medical appointment and saying to my husband, my dream is that he gets a job. Krasny made small changes, like creating instructions with pictures for Alan. The challenge is really on us as an employer to, to set the employee up for success, and that's, that's pretty much true anywhere. And Alan's mom, Aletta, a speech pathologist and behavior analyst, worked around the clock to prepare her son. It's been our focus because it takes years to learn skills for an individual like Alan. National studies find around 80% of adults with autism spectrum disorder are unemployed or can't support themselves with their current position. 36-year-old Aaron Schatzman, who has Asperger's, a high-functioning form of autism, knows that firsthand. Selling myself to an employer is usually pretty difficult. Like, I know what skills I have, but what skills they need to hear is something that's kind of difficult of a bridge for me to get. Even with a college degree and his warm personality, Aaron struggled. Right now, he works at Amazon, a job he enjoys but is likely overqualified for. People see what your talents are and they see what you bring to the company even if you don't see it yourself. That's exactly what's happening back at Garrett's Mill Diner. The openness and willingness to make a few simple changes around the restaurant has made Allen a successful employee. And beyond that, the culture shift is noticed not just by employees, but by the customers. He isn't just employing people, he's changing people's hearts. All the people that come in here have embraced his employees. We've watched them grow and flourish. Experts believe these impressions will open up the untapped talent of so many on the autism spectrum. Having somebody like that on your team is, is always an asset and always a win. Adrian DiPiazza, Fox 8 News.